Welcome to the channel Smart Kiddos. Today we're going to continue teaching Scratchy coding. In the previous videos, we learned how to do coding in Python and Scratchit. So if you haven't seen those videos, please do check them out later. What are we going to learn today in this video? Today we're going to learn how to make a Flappy Bird game in Scratchit. So let's start. So I'm first going to start by deleting Scratch Cat and hovering over, choose a sprite and choose the paintbrush. Now let's begin drawing Flappy Bird. Alright, so now I'm going to go to the code tab and drag one flag is clicked, then I'm going to go to variables and click on make a variable. This variable is going to be called speed. So I'm now going to drag set speed to zero. Now I'm going to decrease the size of the bird. I'm going to make it 70. Then I'm going to go to the costume tab, select the bird drawing, and click on this button, flip horizontal, so it's facing the right. Let us now begin by making the bird move down. So I'm going to drag, go to X and Y. And change these two numbers to minus 148 and minus 5. So it'll take us over here. That's our starting position. I'm going to drag this above set speed 0. Below, I'm going to drag a forever loop. Inside the forever loop, I'm going to drag... Change Y by speed. There we go. Above that, I'm going to drag change speed by minus 0 0.5. This basically means that the variable speed changes by 0 0.5 and Y changes by speed. Let's test this out. I'm going to click on the green flag. Wow, it moves down. But when I click on the space key, I want it to move up. How can I do that? Well, first I'm going to drag an if block. So if, then I'm going to go to sensing and drag key space pressed. So if key space pressed, then I want it to set speed to 8, positive 8. Let's test this out. I'm going to click on the green flag. Okay, so when I click on the space key, it's going up. But when I don't do it, it's moving down. Awesome, this is what I want. But it's kind of boring. We're missing some important thing. That's right, the obstacle, the pipes. Now, let's click on Choose a Sprite again and click on the paintbrush. Let's start creating the pipes. I have made three different kinds of costumes for the pipe sprite. Each is a different kind of pipe, which will be super fun to play. Now I'm going to go to the code tab, and let's begin the decoding. Let me first drag when the flag is clicked. I'm going to drag a forever block from the control section. Forever 
Then, if I scroll down, I will see create a clone of myself. Now, I'm going to scroll up here and drag wait one second. Instead of wait one second, I'm going to go to operators and choose pick random 1 to 10. Basically, this code makes sure that it will create a clone of the pipe sprite and then it will wait for a random second of 1 to 10. Mm, maybe that's a lot. I'm going to change it to 1 to 5. That's better. Now we will hide the original sprite by dragging the hide block. And then I'm going to go to control section and drag start as a clone. So when I start as a clone, I want it to show. So I'm gonna go to the look section again and drag the show block. I'm gonna go to the motion section and drag go to X and Y. And so I'm gonna change X to 240 and Y to zero. So it will be somewhere over here. Let's change the costume now. So I'm going to go to looks and choose switch costume to, and there are three costumes. So I wanted to choose a random costume out of the tree. So I'm going to drag pick random one, two, and I'm going to change this 10 to three. Let me again go to the motion section and drag glide seconds to X and Y. So the X position is going to be minus 240. So it's going to glide all the way over here. The Y position will still be zero. Now one second is two less. I'm going to change it to five. After it glides over here, then we'll delete the clone. So I'm going to go to control section and choose delete this clone. I'm going to first rename the sprite. So this will be pipe sprite and then this will be player all right so that we can tell the difference i'm gonna go to pipe sprite here and then i'm going to click on the green flag let's test this out so let's see Ooh, i touched the pipe but nothing happened so what happens if we touch the edge or the pipe well, we should end the game. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go to the bird sprite or the player and drag an if statement. If, then I'm going to go to operators and drag an or block. So if it touches pipe sprite or I am touching the edge, the edge meaning the bottom, then I want to stop all. That block is at the end of control. Let's test it again. Woohoo! So, I'm going to the pipes. Ooh. Now, suppose I touch one, it ends the game. Or, if I touch the edge, it also ends the game. At the end, we can always hide the speed variable by clicking on this tick mark. That's it, we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Bye!